What's up everybody? My name is Ram and welcome to Sprint Master. In the last video, we talked about solving the problem, find a triplet in an array that adds up to a given sum. And we looked at the brute force solution of solving that problem. And we know the time complexity of that approach is O of n cube. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'm dropping a link in the description below as well as you can click on the link at the top right corner and you can navigate to that video. In today's video, we are going to solve the same problem with a little bit of optimization. So without further ado, let's get into it. In the previous video, we had three loops and we were trying to find all the triplets possible for this array and checked if any of the triplets added to the given sum. But in this video, what we are trying to do is we are going to optimize the third iteration of this particular logic. So how do we do that? Let us take this example again. You have the same array 1, 5, 9, 2, 8, 4. And the sum is again 15. So in the previous video, what we did was we have an iteration from here to here for i, iteration from here to here for j, and iteration from here to here for k. So in this video, what we are going to do is, we want to take off this iteration and keep the rest of the iterations as is. And once you know the two elements of a triplet, you just have to know the third element which adds up to the given sum. So let us say you have three elements i j k they all add up to 50 and out of this you know i you know j and you just have to know k so k is equal to 15 minus i plus j right so you know the k element and all you have to do is you have to find this k in the array between here and here at least for the first iteration so to search this element what we can do is we can do a binary search but if you want to do a binary search you cannot do binary search as is on this array you have to sort the array first so our approach is based on sorting the array first and then having the two loops as of the previous approach and for the third element we are doing the binary search so let us take a look at the code for this approach and we can talk from there so here is the code for the approach we just talked about so we have the same similar function as the previous video you have a find triplet and you are being passed with an array and a sum so you have to find a triplet in this array which adds up to the given sum and the logic is pretty much similar to the previous video but there are a couple of key changes one is first you are trying to sort the arrays here and we are sorting the arrays because binary search works based on the principle of sorted arrays so we want to make sure the array is sorted before we pass on that array to the binary search. And once you have the array sorted, then what you are doing is you have the same loops for the for finding the first and the second element of the triplet. So here, if you consider the same example, your i will be this and your j will be this. And next, what you are trying to do is you are trying to find the third element k in the rest of the array. By calling binary search and how do you know k so k is equal to 15 minus here 1 plus 5 so 15 minus 6 that is equal to 9 so you are trying to find element 9 in the rest of the array that is what we are trying to achieve here and once you find an element 9 we know that there is a 9 here so once you find that element we are printing that triplet 159 and if you don't find an element 9 in this one you will be written with negative 1 from this binary search and if it is not equal to 1 not, not equal to negative 1 then only you are printing it otherwise you won't print any triplet the time complexity of this approach would be o of n square log n let us see why it is o of n square log n So we know that by sorting the array, you are consuming O of n log n. 
and after that you have two loops so n from here and from here and then for the rest of the logic here the binary search takes up the time complexity of logarithmic n so it is log n right when you combine all of these three the time complexity will be n into n into log n which is n square log n and you may say that the total time complexity is n log n plus n square log n but we know that we take only the dominant terms in terms of the time complexity so the total time complexity of this approach is going to be o of n square log n i am not expanding the logic of the binary research in this video but you can check out the complete code for this approach in my blog and i'm dropping a link in the description below can we reduce the time complexity even more yes we can in the next video i'm going to talk about a little bit more optimal solution than this one and make sure you stay tuned for the next video i hope you like today's session and if you do please click the like button below and make sure you share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to sprint master channel and if you have any comments or any suggestions on my videos feel free to drop them in the comment section below and as always thanks for watching this video this is ram signing off